So from Romans 12, 9, the TPT says, Beloved, don't be obsessed with taking revenge, but leave that to God's righteous justice. For the scriptures say, vengeance is mine and I will repay, says the Lord. When I read through that scripture, I feel a sense of justice, peace, and relief. In this life, we all suffer injustices of many kinds, some big, some small, and instinctually, we want justice. I have experienced this in my own life. To be transparent, my ex-husband left me for another woman he was having an affair with. To add insult to injury, she was pregnant with his child. I felt so enraged and I wanted vengeance. On top of that, the woman didn't feel that she had done anything wrong. And one of her family members was representing him as his divorce attorney. I felt like I had been gut punched, shot in the chest and hit by a Mack truck all at the same time. I cried out to God for justice every single day. I wanted to take vengeance myself, but I knew that there was nothing that I could do realistically. I didn't have the money to fight back legally, and it is illegal by the laws of God and man to inflict physical violence on him myself. I was literally at the mercy of God, but his word has so many promises that I held on to. Specifically, vengeance is mine. I will repay. Vengeance isn't ours to begin with. Plus, God's vengeance is far greater than anything we could ever dish out. When we take vengeance into our own hands, we give a foothold to the devil with anger, which will lead us to sin. It also results in bitterness and unforgiveness taking root in our hearts. God doesn't want that for us because it leaves us in bondage. Vengeance is not our burden to bear. Throughout the Bible, there are several scriptures where God is reminding us that vengeance is his. I had to stand on those, let go, and trust that God will do what he said. Specifically, Psalms 37 verses 1 through 9 says, don't worry about the wicked or envy those who do wrong, for like grass, they will soon fade away. Like spring flowers, they will soon wither. Trust in the Lord and do good. Then you will live safely in the land and prosper. Take the light in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desire. Commit everything you do to the Lord. Trust him and he will help you. He will make your innocence radiate like the dawn and the justice of your cause will shine like the noonday sun. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to harm. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. So our prayer is Father God, thank you so much for the love you have for us. Thank you for being our protector and our avenger. Your strength is made perfect in our weakness. We acknowledge our weakness before you, and we ask you to help us to rely on you to avenge us in times of injustice. Help us to be still while you are working on our behalf. Lord, we declare that we trust in you and you alone. You are our refuge, our rock, and our defender. We ask for mercy for those who have wronged us. We choose to forgive and release them from the offense. In the name of Jesus, we speak blessings over them. Amen.